The last tool in the toolbar is the color picker tool. In most programs, this would be called the eyedropper tool. Its purpose is to pick up the color and then apply that color. It has some nuances to be aware of, particularly if you're used to using an eyedropper tool in another program. First off, know that if you use the move tool at the top of the toolbar to select a shape and then drag on the color picker tool rather than tapping on it, you can select a color to apply to the shape that you have selected. Next, be aware that the color picker will apply to the shape based on what you have selected in the color studio here in the top right. If you have the fill selected, it will apply to the fill, but if you have the stroke selected, it will apply to the stroke. For example, if I now grab the color picker and go to the red, it will apply the red to the stroke rather than the fill. If you tap on the color picker so that you have it selected, you will get its contextual menu. You can choose here if you want to auto apply the color which is default or if you just want to pick up the color and put it in the color studio. You can also determine how big the point sample is that you want to pull from. You can do an average of 3x3, three three, an average of 5x5, five 17x17, five, 16x16, seventeen by seventeen, sixty-five by sixty-five, 129 by 129 257 by 257 or of course 1 by 1. You can choose if you want to select from the global document or just the current layer. We only have one layer in this document so it doesn't really make a difference here but if you had a complicated document it would make a difference. As far as eyedropper tools go this one is pretty bare bones and I hope that it will get more built out as we go along with Affinity Designer to be able to pick up more options and drop more options onto a shape. But for now, it does what we need it to do. That will finish up this course on the vector tools in Affinity Designer. Please use these tools to make something in Affinity Designer on the iPad and share it in the project section for this course. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. We haven't learned any fancy skills yet. Just something simple that you've done with shapes or lines or drawn with the pen tool or with brushes. Please share it with us so we can all learn from each other as we're learning this new program. Thanks for joining us and keep an eye out for our next course that will go over all the vector studios in Affinity Designer.